What's going on everybody? Welcome to Phoenix Homes for Sale. Today we are touring a beautiful million dollar Arcadia house and that's in Phoenix, Arizona. Real quick, if you've never been here before, I give tours of homes in Phoenix, Scottsdale, Gilbert, Tempe, Mesa. So don't forget to just subscribe so you can see what house I tour next and where exactly I'm at. And like always, I have timestamps in the description below. So if there's a specific part of the house that you want to see, just pop up in that description and feel free to skip to that section. All right, while we're looking at some of these clips of the inside of the house, let me give you some details. So this house is $1 million. It's 2,600 square feet, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, really cool split floor plan that I'll go into um, in a little bit. I'll tell you some details about that, but really awesome design inside. Really love the outside as well. So this house was completely remodeled. So everything in here is new. Um, you have brand new driveway, brand new garage. We'll go in the garage. The garage is really cool. Um, this whole entryway completely reconstructed. You can see really cool um really cool element that they're going for with this exposed wood it really contrasts this black color that you see throughout the house and you'll see on this door right here it's kind of like a very dark um almost rust or iron look to it so they're contrasting this wood color with this dark metallic rust color really really nice um decoration that they're doing so here we are inside they've made this kind of like just a great room. So you have one major room, includes the kitchen, includes that dining table in the far end, includes this living room on the left side. Really, really opened up, really gives it a cozy um, family feel where someone's off in the kitchen and you feel involved with what's happening in the living room. Really like these ceilings. You see how they're all about 14 feet high and just have a very nice cathedral or vaulted ceiling. Um, both of those are kind of used interchangeably a lot in a lot of the homes we're touring, but you really just get a very expensive um, feel in this great room when the ceilings are that high. And we'll jump over to this corner so that you can see how big this family room feels, this great room, and how the vaulted ceilings just add to that immense feeling that this is just a gigantic room. All right, let's go over. I like that they staged this because we did a tour last week and it's kind of hard to feel where everything was going. But you kind of see here they have a separate dining room or it's not a dining room, but it's just like a table where you could um, eat your meals, kind of separated and gives you an idea of where you would want to place everything in this house. So like I said, this is a um, completely remodeled home. Let me just look through some of my notes. So that means new AC, new windows, all of these um, light fixtures, electrical, everything brand new in this house. Let's jump over and start um, looking at this kitchen. Really, really like what they did here. So you see this island, this white that we're looking at is all marble. So let's see. Oh, sorry. So this is quartz, actually. So this white is quartz. You'll see the matching white cabinets really well done. And then you have gold, the handles to the cabinets you saw were gold, as well as the, as the water spout. You have all brand new appliances. So they believe, uh, yeah, so as we're looking through, you can see um, they're all Bosch appliances. You have double ovens. And this backsplash is really amazing. This backsplash, I wrote some notes on this, is also marble. And just look at the detail. And not, a, not only are these hexagons, but the, but the place where you would normally see grout are actually like these individual patterns of gold tiles. 
really, really cool. One of the best backsplashes that I've ever seen. So you have the range built in. This is a really nice range, by the way, check that out. It's not one of the ranges that you buy and install. It's actually built in to the cabinets. That is so cool. All right, this kitchen is one of my favorites for sure. Like I said, I uh, mentioned that it was uh, quartz counters with that marble backsplash. You'll see um, you have this wood. Just wanted to zoom in on this so you can see the quality of this wood flooring. That's throughout this whole great room. Okay, so let me talk about how this floor plan is split up. So uh, we're walking into this master. So this is the master bedroom. This master bedroom is split on the right side and on the left side, what you would have seen, what you'll see in a little bit is that you have three bedrooms on the left side. And that also, one of those bedrooms actually is a combined, like almost like a mini guest suite. That's like a mini master. Um, this is the full master though. So let's talk about this a little bit. As you can see, plenty of space. Um, this is a queen bed, I believe. So you can see that even with this bed in here, you have plenty of room on the sides. Really like these fixtures. I've been seeing more and more of these. I'm actually, I'll, I'll eventually have some videos on this, but I'm flipping a house right now. And I've been seeing a lot of these um, light fixtures and so I'm probably going to install these a really cool look to it, it kind of has a propeller um, Feel to it almost like you would see on the outside of an airplane. So Really like that style Here we have the master bathroom You can see this Master has a walk-in shower um, Just like in the kitchen you have these gold water fixtures one coming straight from the ceiling, one attached to the wall, so you can choose whichever one you like the best. You have built in, they call these niches, but that's where you would store all your soap. You can see the water, um, where you turn on and off the water, also has that same gold finish that we saw in the kitchen. And look at this pattern at the bottom. A really cool hex pattern to it. I think that's a completely designer finished floors. You have a tub built into the side. I actually got a quote for installing something like this. These water, the, the place where the water comes out, the handle is actually really expensive. So these are not as cheap as you would think to install these tubs and then you have these cabinets same gold finish which i really like i believe this is the same quartz counter that you saw in the kitchen and i really like that this whole every um maybe not everyone i'm trying to think there are four bathrooms but i think most of them have this floating vanity that just means there's no bottom. It's uh, installed into the wall, which is becoming more and more common. What I like about this specific one, and I haven't seen this a lot, is that they've actually added these very nice um, lights underneath it. So I guess that's uh, under cabinet lighting, I guess you would call it, if you're shopping around for something like that. But look how nice that is. Um, I wish I had toured this at night because it would have been interesting to see how bright this is at night. It might be cool just because you might be able to, without turning any lights on and off, just walk into the restroom um, and be able to see what you're doing without turning anything on and off at all. Because as you can see, they're not the brightest. So um, here you have a built-in closet or sorry a master closet everything in here is custom and oh, I really like that light feature that's a cool one and 
custom closet and I wanted to look real quick at the floor that's in. You see that? Instead of normal grout, it's almost like gold. Really like that. It's the same type of gold um, finish within each tile that we saw in the kitchen backsplash. Really nice. I haven't seen any type of like grouting work like this. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have kind of like a split floor plan here. Um, this is on the same side as the master. So this room is connected right next to the master and works really well as an office, um, an extra room where you can have like a den or some type of workspace. So I like that they've, I like that the master has, is just focused on sleeping area. And then this area also, there's also an extra room for an office. I really appreciate that because in my current setup, I have a huge master, but it's the office and the sitting area in the same area where the bed is. So I like this setup a lot more. And here you have an extra restroom. Um, I like that the, so this is where your, um, if you have, guest over this is the restroom they would use it's nice that they have a full shower here maybe a bit overkill but at least it was well done so this is one of the nicer um implementations of a guest restroom and then over here so through that door you have the garage um, on the right, just on the other side of this wall, you have the kitchen and here you have the entryway. And this room basically doubles as a pantry because there's no separate room for the pantry. So this is basically like a pantry slash um, washer dryer room. So the washer dryer would go there. You could possibly have some groceries, um, some storage for the kitchen here. I think that's why they added so many cabinets. And then right through here, like I said, you have the garage. This garage is one of the most elaborate garages I've ever seen. So you have vaulted ceilings here, same um, support beams, same finish. And all of this is insulated. So it actually stays pretty cool here, which by the way is nice in Arizona because the garages can get very hot. All right, from, um, from the living room, and you can also enter, or you can also get to the patio from the master. Here we have the patio. You have this covered patio area with a very nice brick finish to it. Remember the entryway coming into the house? You have the same exposed wood look that you had in the entryway, you also have it in this patio. That's the nice part about having this whole house be remodeled. They're able to add in consistent details like that. You have a grassy area here. Um, I've really started to like real grass. That is real grass, not artificial turf. I actually have noticed that the artificial turf when you see that in Arizona, it can get very hot. I didn't know that, but it actually is really good at keeping in the heat and can get scolding hot in the summer. So here you can see, um, you might've noticed that this backyard was actually left purposely empty. I've been seeing, uh, it's pretty common in a lot of these higher end homes to just have kind of a blank slate. So you can do whatever you want with in the backyard whatever uh there is plenty of room for a pool in that backyard as well you could have done that put in a barbecue um lots of options in that area it was just very large um i don't think i mentioned it but this is a quarter acre lot so a lot of area all right um that's pretty much going to finish off most of this video um we're just looking at the other side of the home this side has three more bedrooms has this guest suite as well another floating cabinet, which I really like, uh, cabinet slash vanity, so really like those with the lights underneath it, the under cabinet lighting. So anyway, 
thanks so much for visiting my channel and watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any um, comments or any recommendations, just leave a comment and let me know. I'm trying to be better about actually responding to those. So I appreciate your time. Y'all have a good day.